We previously saw that enthalpy depends on temperature in the following way. If we want to know the enthalpy at uh, temperature 2 relative to temperature 1, then we do the following integral from T1 to T2. We calculate the integral of the constant pressure heat capacity as a function of temperature over, over T. So this integral will tell us how much uh, enthalpy change occurs between T2 and T1, or the temperature dependence of that enthalpy. So for things like standard, uh, standard enthalpies of formation, standard reaction enthalpies, those sorts of things, those are typically at uh, standard temperature and pressure, or 273 Kelvin usually. So we want to know how does enthalpy change as a function of temperature for reactions, for uh, various types of processes. So we're going to have the following relationship here, that the delta H at T2 relative to delta H at some T1 is going to equal the integral from T1 to T2 of the delta Cp of T dt. So this quantity, delta Cp, is going to be the change in the constant volume heat capacity during whatever process this was, and then its dependence on temperature, and then all of that integrated from T1 to T2. So it's the pretty much the same formula, but now we have to go about determining what this delta Cp of T is if we know uh, the constant pressure heat capacity of all of our components. So let's go back to our favorite reaction here in this series of videos, AA plus BB, and the reactants goes to CC plus DD. Small letters indicating number of moles, big letters indicating chemical species. Okay, so our delta CP for this process is going to equal, well, we have the uh, CP of the reactants and the CP, uh, sorry, CP of the products and CP of the reactants. So the difference is just products minus reactants. So we're going to have D times the CP of D at that given temperature plus C times heat capacity of com compound C minus uh, negative sign for our reactants. B, well, let's just start with A. A, CP of compound A minus B, CP of compound B. Okay, so that's pretty much all it is. Works pretty much the way that enthalpy does. We're multiplying the value for each chemical species by the number of moles it has uh, in the chemical reaction. And if we can just... Uh, take one more statement to generalize this further. If we have again some reaction which is a sum of I reactants with Ni moles of each reactant I, big I, going to the products of some Nj number of products, uh, sorry Nj moles of each product J, then our delta Cp, if we want to be explicit about temperature dependence we could say delta Cp of T is just the sum over all the products of number of moles of each product CP of J of T make sure that looks like a J minus sum over the reactants negative sign because we're canceling that out that's the initial state number of moles of reactant I times heat capacity of reactant I at that temperature. And that's all there is to it. That integral for that delta Cp will tell you how your enthalpy depends on temperature and usually the temperature dependence of enthalpy is not that extreme and uh, oftentimes might even be ignored uh, as a first approximation, but if we really want to get detailed and see how these things are changing, this is the type of calculation we would do.